Hello, and it's Nick Glorioso, owner of Glorioso Wildlife Sound Saturday in Port Henry, New York. This is a huge whopper of a buck right here. And this was shot by the owner of Illusion Camo out of Bennington, Vermont. And uh, Lee shot this with the bow. His uh, nickname is Fat Ass. Not Lee's, the Bucks. <laughs> this is a beautiful buck. Uh, I never really measured how wide he is, but you can see he's a dandy of a buck. And I'm uh, just going to show you the real simple process of uh, sawing the uh, antlers off at a skull plate. So, um, or in other words, we're going to saw off what you need for a taxidermy mount. So, okay, gonna get the GoPro 3 on and uh, invite you into the shop here. Here we go. Got the GoPro 3 on and uh, just gonna show you very simple process to do this and I already have this tag all made up here <laughs> see it says badass on both so you can put that on these antlers all right he's official <laughs> all right now what I like to do is um, get rid of some of this extra we'll see this extra meat extra skin on here we don't need this it's pretty nasty um, and I'll tell you the reason here in a second um, the reason why I like to get that off so watch yourself it may sound funny but these uh, antlers are quite sharp so you don't want to mess around with that. Okay, got the majority of the meat off back here, that extra meat that's on the skull. So I'll show you why here in a second. I like to make a couple of side cuts here. This will save you some time. Uh, this is a whopper of a buck. Uh, he was over, Lee said he was on a hoof. He was about 300 some odd pounds. So, that's a dandy. All right, just gonna cut that. You almost make a sandwich with this meat. It's on the skull plate alone, so. All right, here we go. Okay, got most of the meat off of this. And what we're going to do next from uh, LEM products I ordered this big meat saw right here I think this is a 24 inch and uh, it's a very basic video it's only gonna be a few minutes long but I just took the meat off the skull the extra meat now I want to get a good grasp on this thing and uh, we're just gonna make a cut right across I like to just start it out like this Get yourself a groove. You want to angle it back. And this is quite a skull. So we're going to have to really saw into this booger. going with this. I like to hold the antler. Now, if you got a spike or a four-pointer, it'd be a little trickier to hold on to. <laughs> this thing, I can grab these antlers and plenty of leverage on this booger. So, okay. I had this skull frozen and uh, Lee had this frozen for a little bit of time, too. So, this brain material is frozen like a brick. Okay, now you can see, I'm just gonna show you real quick. See what we did here. We just made a, a saw cut straight across. Now, what we need to do is cut down. And the reason why I took that meat off is so it doesn't 
have a tendency to slip on you. So, same thing. Try to get a groove and hold on to this booger. And the goal is to get straight down. Right. There we go. Whew. I feel like I'm building a log home here. Gets easier. All right. This skull is pretty frozen, actually. So we're just gonna keep going on this. Once you get down a little ways, it seems to get easier. And of course, if you had a small book, you'd already be through that sucker. All right, a little bit more. I feel like I'm building a house here or something. It's a big sucker. A little bit more. And See what I was saying? Uh, this brain material is still very much frozen. So, what you need to do is uh, just find a box you don't need or a bag. A bag works fine. And uh, we don't need this skull anymore. Probably got five six pounds of skull here we don't need to unless you're doing an open mouth and you want to keep the original teeth just put your scraps in there and then what we'll do you can see a frozen brain uh, pretty nasty just take this and not a very pleasant part of taxidermy, but let's get this out of here. That's all. You'll see this sucker is frozen, so let's see what happens here. Should come out pretty clean. Okay. Now, now you can see what I started on was cleaning the meat off the sides. You can see there's still meat here. You want to get the majority of that off uh, so when you hang it up in your shop, uh, it doesn't smell. So, a little bit, a little bit of dried meat won't hurt nobody. I try to get most of that off. Most of the meat most of the fat for that thing. I know a lot of guys they'll they'll uh, burn it. They use a little torch and burn it. And it smells like boiled venison. When it gets them in the mood they get their steaks out. Okay. Alright. Real simple. You use a scalpel pocket knife whatever you're comfortable with and uh, whatever it is just your goal is just to get this extra meat off here and there's some here on the side bigger the bucks to of course the more meat we're gonna have here on the sides so. I try to start my videos out like uh, Someone's never seen a, a deer before or how to do this. So 
This video is really for the beginners, taxidermists. Just showing you how to do this. A lot of you viewers on my YouTube channel, Nikki G123100, you can cut your skull plates off this way too. Um, if you're not mounting the deer, you just want the antlers. You can cut your skull plate off like this, and you can buy a kit, and uh, very economical. And uh, just you can mount your own horns. Right. Here we go. Pretty clean. Pretty clean like that. And this is uh, what's left of that ass. So, <laughs> not much left of them right now. I see a little bit of, a little hunk of meat right there. Again, probably never hurt nobody. But try to get this off. And uh, before we mount it, I'll, I have a little torch and Make sure all that's burnt off and preserved. So. And that's the professional way to uh, cut off a uh, cut off your skull plate. Um, you can see uh, if you're uh, if you're more than a beginner taxidermist. You can see I left this a little long up front. Uh, that'll need to be trimmed a little bit more. But for right now, it's fine. It takes two seconds to trim it out. So, but that'll that'll be fine. I'll have to trim probably another oh three eighths of an inch or so, nice and flat across. And uh, old fat ass is ready to be hung up. So, I'd like to thank you for watching. It's uh, Nick Glorioso. Glorioso Wildlife Knox Taxidermy, Fort Henry, New York. I'd like to thank you for watching again, and uh, best of luck mounting your buck. We'll see you next time.